What's going on YouTube? It's Rashad Williams from 212 Exotics and in today's video I'm going to be giving you my breeding plans and I'm going to be showing you a very special pickup in a reptile room. Stay tuned. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, like I said, I'm going to be going over my breeding plans and I'm going to be showing you a new pickup. Uh, one of my favorite favorite animals that I've always wanted and now I finally have it. Um, as you guys can see, um, the room is a little different. I decided to uh, film in front of the bitter dragons this time. Um, so these are the bitter dragons behind me. If you saw my last video, then you know they are also a new addition to my reptile room. Um, so far, they've been doing great, eating great, and um, really enjoying the life. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into my breeding plans. All right. So, um, going over my breeding plans. Um, if you guys saw my last video, then you guys know that I showed you my black pastel female who has already ovulated and was in her pre lay shed. Um, since then she has had her pre lay shed. Um, and she, uh, well, obviously she ovulated because she's had a pre lay shed. I'll drop a picture of her ovulation right now. All right, guys, that was her ovulation. She was bred to this guy. This is my banana GHI male. Um, she was bred to him. They locked up four times, I believe, and she ovulated, and then she had her pre -lay shed. So it'll be about 20 days before I'm expecting some eggs from her. Um, but she was bred to this guy. Um, this guy also just finished up locking with my huge pastel Mojave girl. Um, I'll get her just so you can see how huge she is, but hopefully she's expecting an ovulation soon. Uh, let me get her. All right. This is my pastel Mojave girl. As you can see, she is huge. Uh, she's finally off of food, um, so hopefully... I'll be expecting uh, ovulation here soon from her. Um, she has packed on the weight. I started pairing her at 1,312 grams. And as of today, she is 2,001 grams. So she's been really packing on weight since I started pairing her. Today was her fourth lock with this same male. So um, hopefully, like I said, she'll be showing an ovulation soon or be giving me an ovulation soon so that I can get some pretty nice uh, eggs from her. But uh, she is a first time mom, or she will be a first time mom if she ovulates. But uh, like I said, I can't wait into, uh, until her ovulation. That way we can get some uh, nice looking animals from her. But yeah, this is my Banana GHI and Pastel Mojave female. All right, this is my Pastel Lesser Het Clown female. Uh, she's been bred to my pastel clown male. Uh, this girl I got from Bob's Balls, and this girl I got from Derek and Jonas at Left Side Reptiles. Uh, huge shout out to Derek at Left Side Reptiles. This is their shirt, if you can see it. Left Side Reptiles, there it is. Um, but this, they have paired five times. Um, so, she seems to be doing a little swelling around here. Um, hopefully that is signs of an ovulation. She is also a girl that has just been pounding food. She is also now off of food. She's been off of food for almost a month now. So hopefully I'll be seeing an ovulation from her shortly and hopefully we can make some nice lesser clowns, some uh, killer clown lessers and some nice clowns and then some really nice hits uh, to come out of it. Um, if the odd gods are on my side, hopefully no hits and <laughs> all clowns, but I know that probably won't happen, but this is the pairing. This is a pastel clown to a pastel lesser head clown. This right here is my pastel Mojave spider or Mojave bumblebee. Um, she was produced by all these two cool reptiles. If you can see if it'll get clearer, there she is. 
just so you guys can see. But this is my Pastel Mojave Spider or my Bumblebee Mojave. She was bred to my Superfire male. Um, they've also locked up four times. Um, I'm hoping that she'll produce me a nice, nice ovulation. Um, she has really packed on the weight. When I uh, started breeding her, she was actually 1,200 grams, and I was hoping that uh, she'd make it to size, and she has gotten huge um, from 1,200 grams to almost 2,000 grams. So um, I'm really hoping that she goes, uh, this super fire is trying to escape me, guys. Um, but I'm really hoping that she goes, but this was the pairing, and um, one more lock with them. I'm hoping she gives me an ovulation, but uh, they've been locking up. They've been doing amazing. So I hope that they continue to lock and uh, make me some nice babies. So um, one more pairing that I really am not sure about, but I'm going to share it with you guys anyway, hoping that uh, I get some positive results from it. All right, so this is my low white pied female. Um, I know if you guys heard me talk about her in my last video, I was saying that I did not want to pair her because she had been off of food. However, um, a lot of my friends in the reptile industry said um, she knows what she's doing, so go ahead and pair her. So that's what I did. And since then, she has locked twice with this guy, my pastel clown. So it'll be pied to pastel clown and make some really cool double heads if I'm lucky. But um, that's if she goes. Since then, since I did pair her, she has started eating. So I don't know if she's building follicles or if me pairing her just put her into the mode to start eating again, I'm hoping that it's for building follicles. <laughs> um, she has started gaining weight again. She's went from 1,600 grams to 1,700 grams empty. Um, so she's gained about 100 grams and eaten uh, three or four small rats since I've paired her. But I'm hoping that these two uh, together can make me some really neat double hits um and if so that is awesome but again this is my low white pied female and my pastel clown male all right guys um those are all of my breeding plans and if you have stuck around from the beginning of the video uh you also know that i said that i have a new pickup and it is something that i've been wanting for a mighty long time. It is one of my favorite species of animals. So without further ado, here is my pickup. All right, guys, this is my new pickup. If things will focus on her, as you can see, this is my new carpet python. Um, she's being really good right now. She's actually a little brat. She's a little feisty, but, um, this is one of my favorite, uh, Morelia species, uh, Morelia spilota. Um, I don't know how to say the last word, Shane, Shane, I, whatever, uh, <laughs> jungle carpet python. Um, I am really really excited and really stoked to have her in my collection. I can't wait until she gets bigger. Um, she's actually being really sweet right now. Uh, typically she's a little B word and she is not fun. But <laughs> anyway, this is her. I'm gonna go ahead and put her up because um, I've only had her for about a day or so. So I don't wanna stress her out and I don't want to I don't want her to keep trying to tag me but this is my new carpet python my new jungle carpet python 
And for a name, I named her Michonne. Um, and if you know that reference, comment down below if you know that reference or where you know that reference from. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and put her back. This is Michonne, my jungle carpet python. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. In next week's video, I promise you that I will be showing you my FB40 rack bill because it's already done. And that's kind of the reason I'm filming toward the bearded dragons because the rack is actually on the other side of the room. And I did not want you guys to see it without me putting a video out first. So next week's video is gonna be the FB40 bill. Didn't quite go how I wanted it, but you didn't quite go how I wanted it to, but you guys can definitely tune in next week to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that like button, comment on this video, subscribe to this channel, and make sure you share it with all of your friends. Again, it's Rashad from 212 Exotics, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.